Hello there. Storm Debbie has been named by Met Air and the Irish Weather Service due to the potential for some significant disruption. Impacts are also possible across other areas of the UK as well. It's this area of cloud that we have our attention on. This is what will eventually become Storm Debbie, associated at the moment with a couple of weather fronts that are pushing their way towards areas of the UK. The storm itself hasn't properly developed yet, and that does mean there is still some slight uncertainty. And it's all due to how the jet stream will push it towards the UK. Once it moves onto the left-hand side of the jet stream, that's going to help spin Debbie up and really help deepen that area of low pressure. The winds will strengthen and those isobars really start tightening together a lot more, potentially bringing a lot of disruption as we head during the day on Monday. There are two aspects to this storm, the wind and the rain. So we'll go through each separately, starting off with the wind. Potential as we head throughout Monday morning that we see this swathe of gales pushing their way through the Irish Sea. So we do have wind warnings in force for Northern Ireland as well as a good portion of Northern England and down stretching across Western areas of Wales as well. This around nine o'clock in the morning, potential for severe gales through the Irish Sea, particularly affecting parts of the Isle of Man as well potential for 80 mile an hour gusts of wind along some coastal areas here. As we head throughout the morning that continues to push its way further inland with the potential for 60, 65 mile an hour gusts of wind for some inland areas. A very blustery day across areas of northern England. There is the potential for flying debris, large waves associated around the coastal areas as well and certainly some disruption to transport is possible. The other aspect then is the rain. If we run through that sequence once again the rain that starts pushing in from Storm Bevy will arrive throughout Sunday evening, spreading its way into Northern Ireland. And it is Northern Ireland that will see some very persistent rainfall over the course of Sunday night and into Monday morning, with the potential for some flooding in places around 30 to 50 millimetres falling in the space of six hours. Again, just with the potential for the exact track of Storm Debbie to differ slightly. Some of this rainfall may push through at slightly different times, but it is certainly worth keeping up to date with the forecast. And as you wake up on Monday morning, there could be quite a lot of spray on roads for the morning rush hour across a good portion of Northern Ireland. This rainfall then pushes its way northwards as we head throughout Monday, and then it's then eastern Scotland that becomes the second focus for rainfall, with these easterly winds starting to push their way around the northern edge of Storm Debbie. That starts bringing some persistent rainfall to these locations. Again, 30 to 50 millimetres of rain falling in the space of 12 hours is enough to cause some flooding in places, particularly since the ground is still saturated from other recent storm events in this location as well. Do take care over the course of the day. Again, travel disruption is possible. Some localised flooding, perhaps danger to life in places as well due to these strong winds and heavy rainfall. We'll provide regular updates across our social media channels with all the latest, so do make sure you're following us through there. And as Storm Debbie begins to clear its way off, we'll keep you up to date with everything. That's it for now. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel as well for those updates, and we'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.